Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Hey Brandon, yeah. would you like to play this really exciting game called Sneak and Peek on the Atari 2600? No. No, I don't think I would, would you like to play Gamecom or Sneak and Peek? Oh, okay, I'll play Sneak and Peek. Alright, come on, let's go have some fun. Love the music. It's like surround sound in mono. Prepare for a good one. This is Sneak and Peek on the Atari 2600 from 1982. Of course, it had to be 1982. Now I'm going to start off by saying thank you to Wesley in Rochester for sending this to the show. Although I can't tell if you sent it because you like it or if you think it's so horrible it'll make for a funny review. Hopefully the latter one. Because Sneak and Peek is a virtual game of hide-and-go-seek on your Atari 2600. Why play for real when you can play on Atari in a simulated house with no furniture? You can't hide under the bed, don't try. The music does get old quickly. But I love the wallpaper. I like what they've done with the place. So here's what you do. You hide and the other person or computer finds you or, or you find the computer. It's awful. Now's the time on Classic Game Room where we play Sneak and Peek. Two player. It's like a death match of hide and go seek. Right? Yep. We on, we on game two? I don't know. Ah. Let me sneak in peace, Mark. I'm not watching the screen. Doubt that. Alright, I'm hidden. Is he behind the couch? Let's find out. No! Where could you be? Where could you be? It's a secret. Are you under the bed? I don't think you can hide under the bed. You gotta be Are you in the green block? No, no, I don't think so. I'm going to use oh, my powers to discover where Brandon is. There you are! You're behind the How house! Did you know? So quickly. I'm so good at hide and go seek oh. on the Atari. Now we now we're rewarded with that music. It's wonderful. Now it's, is it my turn to hide? Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Don't look. Yeah. I don't have a viewfinder to look at, so. I'm, I'm hidden. Oh, I'm hidden. You'll never find it. Probably not. Never. Never. I am so well hidden. I'm like Chuck Norris in that scene in Missing in Action when he covers oh. himself in. Wait, what? I guess I found you. I find that typically bad games make for good video reviews, so you gotta give Sneak and Peek some credit. It's not a very exciting single player game as you can imagine. Two player, it's not that exciting either, but m moderately more interesting. As long as one of the players isn't cheating and watching the screen as you hide. Now there's only like five places to hide in the entire house. Behind the couch, inside the green block. Uh, and, and then behind the house on the left or right. I don't think you can hide under the bed. I, I've tried that numerous times. Not sure why. That, that seems like the first place you would go. Are you here? Isn't this game fun? No, I'm not. I'm not there. This is, this is tons of fun. Just to speed this up, I'm not there. <laughs> this is really fun. Woohoo! Maybe you're over here on this side of the house. Or go this side. Yay! Oh. Achievement unlocked! Brandon found on the right side of the house. This reminds me of Sneak King. Why would you play this when you could play games like this? Get off of me. You know. That's my arm, it's okay. Here's the part where Brandon is trying to run away from the house. You can't! What do you think this is, adventure? It's not Skyrim, Brandon. 
I like the title of the game, Sneak and Peek. It sounds kind of dirty, and when you look at the image of the little guy running around, well, I just hope that's his arm. Under no circumstances should you ever buy this game or be talked into playing it with a friend. But I do have a classic game room shout out to send to Wesley from Rochester, New York. Twitter update. This game sucks. Was that fun and exciting? Yeah. We snuck and we peeked.